Okay, so this is the last tale of the game. I looked it up earlier, and apparently I've been playing this on and off since April. That is way too long to be spending on this game. Like, yikes. So, it is time. As the world is cloaked in darkness, Rydia and Edge fly the falcon across the skies in search of their old friends. Meanwhile, Cain Cecil of Baron turns his blade on Cain, Rosa, and Theodore inside his castle. The world, pelted by meteors, is being laid to waste. Can anything be done to stop the approaching moon? Alright, so, the final tale of this game, the crystals, the planet eater. Let's wrap this up. This tale can be played using saved data from another completed tale. Data will now be loaded. Oh, okay, interesting. I don't know what the significance of the tale is, like, of this choice. We have basically everybody's, t uh, relevant tales. We're missing, let's see, we're missing Theodore's tale, because it looks like it's been combined into Kane's. Now that Kane is kind of, you know, upgraded. And obviously the, this card when we're on makes 10. So, part of me wants to click the Narya just because it's the highest level. I don't know if having all these party members would be an advantage. Oh, there's no Fusoya. He was pretty helpful. You know what? I'm gonna find out real fast. Because I feel like this might be an important choice. And I don't want to, you know, make the wrong one. It looks like maybe I can potentially upload them all. But in case we're to do this. Because we have, I think, the most money in levels. I don't know that I actually loaded them all, but it's fine. We'll just take it from here. Aboard the Falcon. Huh? Where did you come from? Ah, it's Golbez. Now we know who this guy is. I kind of didn't connect it because it's been so long since we played Edge's story. Agard. What's in blazes? What is it, sir? Meteors falling towards us from the moon! Damstian Castle. Trouble, my lord. What is it? Meteors are bombarding the land. Countless waves of them. What? King Edward. I don't remember what she sounded like. It's all things of crap shoot at this point. Oh, what will become of us? Calm down, Chancellor. We cannot afford to lose our heads. He's right. We gotta maintain control of ourselves until Yin comes back with Ursula. Or Yon, rather. I... I can't believe this. What now, sir? The moon. It's... It's falling. I think we're in trouble. Eblin Castle. What in the world? Young Highness! Back on the Falcon. Oh no. What's going on here? We do not have the luxury of time. You, spill everything you know right now. How about starting by telling us who you are, for one? Look out, a meteor! Punch it, boys. We need to get out of here. Unbelievable. Meteors are falling all over the land as far as the eye can see. 
Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? What are you? We're headed towards Barony Castle. <laughs> just Goldbesh just takes the wheel, and other than going, uh, they don't seem to stop him. All right. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you all. Theodore, Rosa, Sid. And shiny boy, Kane. Cecil, father. The crystals, the planet eater. Let's go. What form of treachery is this? Off we go. Hold it. You two stay and watch the Falcon. I forgot about those two, like, doll things. Oh, we're a sh Okay. Oh, we can be anybody in the party. Well, let's be her. Why not? Thank you for giving me control of a character just so I can walk into the castle. Maybe I should have bought some items. Maybe that was uh, the better play. Oops. What the? It's the same glow as the one coming from the Tower of Babel. Is there no way for us to break through? Where are you going? We must find another way inside. Stop! Wait! Okay. Can I go into town? Baron King Cecil's orders. Okay. I had a hunch this might happen, but... It's fine. So what happens if you don't load your data into this? Like, what stats do these characters get? Is the inn open? Just curious. No. Is anywhere open? No. Alright, fine. I know any of the shops are open then. Welcome to the Chocobo Forest! Oh god, it's been annihilated! Oh, okay, this is just where we're supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, launch the airship. I got a little bit of levels and money. Oh, I can fly! All right, where do we want to go? I'm sure there's like another way into the castle through one of the bazillion dungeons we've done over the course of this game. I just don't remember any of them. But this land looks mighty devastated. Can I not land in the desert? Can I land out here? Or is this not even the land of, oh, here we go. Is anything going to be open and accessible out here? You think the amount of times they've run me through the same dungeons over and over, I've retained something from them? Do we have decent items? Oh, we have like a bazillion Phoenix Downs. You good. And eye drops. We got a few of those. How many potions and shit do we have? 99 potions, because we have so many. What about high potions? We have some cottages. Bunch of high potions. Okay. We're not doing that bad. Okay. So, you know, we're not, like, thriving over here, but we have a decent amount of items. Alright. Kaipo, is there anything that's going on here? You are hiding yawn from us. You must be. Oh. Please, calm down. Who are you? You took yawn from us. 
<laughs> here we go. Stop it! The Sylphs aren't the ones that fall here! What is it about Edge's weapon that's a weakness? No experience from that. Okay, the inn's still open. The end of the world is nigh, it seems. There can be no doubt at this time. All right, so Kaipo is available as an inn, like a, a, basically a free place to heal. Good. It's good to know. You guys having like one last hurrah up here? Then any sudden, the desert is just as it is on any other night. There's nothing we can do to stop the Mercury's fall. Achoo! What are we supposed to do now? If the sun abandons us for good, we're all lost. I fear for what this will do to the plants and animals we live with. My god, you need to worry about yourself first. Welcome, welcome! How about a hot drink to warm up your bones? Lady, the end is nigh. Half frozen in the desert? Try Kaipo's very own homemade hot tea. But I do like that there is an option for some place to go. It is as if the moon has swelled up the sky. The temperature has done nothing but plummet since. Alright, so we're all gonna freeze. We're gonna die. We're gonna freeze before we die. I now kind of see why you picked up items maybe earlier in the game that had nothing to do with the party you had. If we're gonna, you know, combine them like this. Okay, so the desert... It's a place for healing. Let's see what else we can find. Just a bunch of craters and sadness. Ooh. Troria Castle. You have seen better days. It's been completely frozen over. Oh no. What is it? We have to hurry. Perhaps Shiva has gone rogue? Or I mean not gone rogue, but this person's been frozen alive. Ooh, that's grim. Perhaps the mysterious girl or one of them, apparently there's several mysterious girls that are here with Shiva. Pops have been frozen too. Troria's crystal is gone too. It must have been her. What is it? Where could he be at a time like this? You mean Palome? Well, remember when the Red Wings were attacking us? He was on the- he was on a black chocobo, headed due north. The area north of Toria is covered in mounds and forests. Wait, this reminds me of something Master Sid mentioned. He spoke of a cave northeast of Toria filled with fearsome monsters. Care to give it a look? Absolutely. All right, northeast. All right, northeast we go. How far north and how far east? I don't really know. It's supposed to be about a cave. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is a cave, but it's not gonna let me land here, is it? All right, we'll land here. Lodestone Cavern. Recovery rod. Actually, you know what? You know what I can do? Since Rydia barely does anything anyway, let's give her this recovery rod. And she can do it. Okay, we're not bothering with blobs.
Can we really not just run? Yikes. But I like how the game's like, oh, it's the cavern full of monsters. And it's like, I don't know where you've been, but everywhere is full of monsters. Oh, thank goodness. We have plenty of cabins and tents and whatever else. Can you stop picking on Luca? Ah, I see. Yes! <laughs> we've done it! We've cracked the code! We have found our auto battle configuration. I really hope this is the right cavern. Again, just being like, oh, you know, the one with the monsters, and it's like, every- this whole place is just covered in monsters. <laughs> Where have you been? Alright, so I am going to- oh, another one of these. Hi, Neil. I think it is worth using a tent, just because since they gain levels, they get like that- those empty magic. Um, points, so might as well fill them on the off chance we need them. I do know we keep changing the moon doing that, and that's not a great one. That's not a great moon at all. In fact, I think I'm gonna re roll. Basically, having a sword down, attack down, whatever you wanna call it, is like the worst one for us. That's a good one. I think the only thing that doesn't make Sheila's- or I want to call her Sheila- Luca's throwing axe that may not be great, but we can just switch her to regular attacks. So not a big deal. And I think I'm gonna predict when I make this video later uh, that we're going to skip ahead to something relevant. And... go! The Crystal Chamber! Oh! Hey, Palome. Oh yeah, they were kind of like crushing on each other or something. This can't be happening! Not to you! Would flame or fire do anything to help him? This is no ordinary ice covering their bodies. Oh. It is diamond dust. I was right, it was Shiva! Shiva! Oh, we got Battle Shiva? Oh, hey! Hey, girl! How, uh, how's it hanging? Shiva, it's me, Rydia! You're wasting your time, Rydia! Give me back my Palome! Okay, we're gonna use some bands, me thinks. I don't think he has any bands he could use, no. It's only level one, so let's see how it does. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, well, bye everybody. Oh, nope, it was weaker than I thought. Oh god, I am not with it today. Oh, um, shit. Luca, I guess. Nope! Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. I mean, Luca's not gonna survive. I'm having a bit of trouble. <laughs> I'm not really- I don't really have like a good like groove with this fight. Well. Luca!
All right, I think we're gonna try this again. It's fine. It's funny though, she doesn't do any big attacks. But I want the party to get experience, so I think we're just gonna let them die. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. The band was a good idea, I just... I think I need to have gold beds on items. It's fine. Or I just don't bother with the band at all, but it does so much damage, you know? Maybe I won't maybe I won't do the band. I really want to use the band, it does so much damage, but Rydia on the recovery rod might just be better. Like for the long game. Why are you hitting with the rod? Oh my god. Can I like... no. <laughs> We'll try again. Alright, we can't assume that Rydia is actually going to do what I want her to do. Noted. Is it you, Rydia? Shiva! I... What was I doing? Oh, we win! Hell yeah! I was about ready to give up. Again. Shiva's returned to Rydia! Yay! You know, maybe I should start summoning with Rydia. That also could help. Palome. Ha! Who said anything about giving up? Give me back the crystal! Palome. Huh? What are you doing here, Luca? Am I dead or what? Don't be ridiculous! You're alive! And so am I, for your information. Lenora! <laughs> pa Lone. Poor Luca. Don't worry me- don't worry me like that, Lenora. Blech. Palome! Let's get them back to Troria. I forgot about Lenora. To be perfectly honest, I was- before I was just thinking like, who is he with? Who else was at his party? But, oh yeah, her. Who's that woman with you anyway? Her? She's my partner. My name is Lenora. It's an honor to meet all of you. Where's Perome? She's not with you? No, we were planning to visit Basidia afterwards and... Then I'm coming with you. You can't leave, not yet. I could hear her shouting to me, guys. She needs me. Alright, but no fighting for you. You'll stay back inside the Falcon. Humph! Who died and made you my master? If you don't like it, then rest up until you can fight on your own. No problem! That's exactly what I was going to do, thank you very much. Oh, brother. He's exactly as I was once upon a time. I want to come with you. Lenora! 
Oh, that doesn't need popped. Lenora. Now look. We're not done here yet, are we? You haven't finished teaching me all the magic you know. Ha! Good point. Lenora! Meanwhile, back at Baron Castle... <sighs> How delightful it is to see you all again. Cecil. We had a promise. Let's have the crystals. Lost the water, wind, and fire crystals. With all this, the crystals are back in our grasp. I'm glad you laugh. My throat does not laughing. Back, you say? Yes. Cecil! Fucking Rosa. Only could say the word Cecil. Stay back, Rosa. Oh, well, that was eventful. Alright, anyway. Oh, yeah, Edge's uh, party members. Oh, Edge is talking, but Luca's the one who's out here. I know it hurts, but wait for me. I can't take my eyes off this man in black for a moment. Rest? I mean, I assume we don't have to. Nah. Oh, hey, po hey, Blow. Just you wait till I'm fully recovered. Once that happens, I'll... I'll... Master, what will happen to Mysidia now? There's nothing to worry about. Perome and the Elder are still there. Yes, you're right. If it, the need calls for it, I will come to their aid as well. We'll wait patient for you, Master. Thank you. So if it happens to me, let the... Seneschal know. The title I have trouble reading. Your orders, Master. Haste makes waste. We need to wait before we make our move. Keeping things safe. Oh, those dolls are creepy. Do not like. Watching the ship. Alright, so it sounds like we need to go to Mysidia. I don't remember where that is. That's fine. Let's go. 